to show what a uh, 1224 Xeon, that's 12 core, 24 hyper thread um, Xeon can do. This is this is the uh, this is the three gigahertz. Uh, this particular model is um, one of the fast ones that's that also has a lot of threads and a lot of cores. <coughs> Anyway, uh, so I'm going to run um, the flight simulator. Um, so, so um, unfortunately, the timing the timing is kind of messed up. This is Q Q E M U. Okay, the uh, the timing is all messed up. So. Um, Here's the deal. Um, I'm going to do this is the new CPU rep. This is a new command. And uh, we have 24 cores. And core 0 is, uh, well, for one thing, it's recording, it's recording this video. And so um, that's why it has a, uh, it's, it, it some of its uh, some of the CPU time is being stolen by Linux because I'm, I'm running in QEMU. So um, this has a total of 84 million contact swaps a second. You can kind of think of this as uh, this is the total uh, gigahertz. Um, it's kind of like 71.9 gigahertz, 24 cores. Um, Anyway, so uh, the the problem is with QEMU, the uh, the timing is really messed up, it, and it doesn't really even function satisfactorily. Actually, this could be because Linux is is having problems fulfilling the uh, the uh, request for threads. You know what I should do? Why don't I just say CPU count equals twenty three? instead of 24. What I just did is I just uh, that's gonna make it easier for Linux to do the scheduling so let's see what that does. No, well, that didn't really help very much. Um, well this kinda sucks. It's doing really a really shitty job. I might have to go back to Q to, uh, to to VMware. Anyway, so uh, in the demo directory under games, under Eagle Dive, you know what? I think I uh, I already ruined the suspense. Um, no, I didn't. Okay, so the map the map is 1024 by 1024. Okay, so so if we gain some altitude and then look down at the map, so it can draw the whole map. But the timing is really screwed up because of core zero. Anyway, so it draws the whole map. Now, now we're gonna um, we're gonna push. We're not really using it to its potential. Let's let's multiply the map by four. Or we're doubling it on both dimensions, so it's gonna be. So. Um, I think we still have the whole map drawn. Yeah. This is some really tiny triangle. This is a lot of triangles. Okay, we still have the whole map. Okay. So we can um well, this is this is Here's where it um begins to uh, reach its limit. So we're, we're doing 16 times the normal map size. So it, it's not it's not doing the whole thing, but it's I think it's almost doing the whole thing. I can see the boundary. So I'm going to do a flip. I think if we gain some elevation, let's see what it looks like when we gain some elevation. So this is to uh, show what you can do with a uh, 
a beast. Unfortunately, I should. Too bad I can't kill Core Zero. Anyway, um, I killed one Core. I wonder if it can recover. Not that it would make a difference. Anyway, let's. I have a printout of the uh, CPU rep for my uh, Pentium D. It's pretty funny. Um, so this is uh, VMware. Um, so my printout for uh, I have a little Pentium D, and it does. Um, it's it's three gigahertz, but the number of swaps is only uh, nine hundred thousand and one one million. On my Xeon, it's doing four four million um, per core. And it has this has this has two cores, and my beast has uh, 24. So for the total number of swaps a second, this is where it saves all the registers and restores all the registers. It's able to do that 90 million times a second on my beast. In, in on here, it's 90 million compared to 2 million. So that's that's quite a uh, that's a really that's a that's an old computer anyway um so uh let me show you what it looks you remember how messed up the timing was uh qem vmware is a lot more professional i i, I use vmware all the time the only problem is the sound is messed up um i also get well that's from VM VMware does distortion on the PC speaker, um, but then there's kind of a there's a weird uh, hardware glitch that causes my speaker to uh, to make noise. There's two separate issues, but anyway. So you can see how this is. Uh, this is 16, uh, not 24. If I do a CPU rep, VMware. They won't run all 24. They only run. Um, it only runs 16 cores. Um, so instead of 90, I have 61. And uh, anyway, I can show you. Uh, well, this you probably don't want to see it. Um, I can show you the uh, um, with. Let's see. So I can do times two. It'll do times two easily. T times four, I mean. Oops. I'm gonna gain some elevation. No sweat, and it's smooth. I can even fly it. That's that's no problem. I think this is gonna be messed up. Takes a while to initialize the map. So this is uh, 16 cores, not 24. It's, you can notice the difference, can't you? But it, it, this one is at least uh, doesn't have lag. It's it's healthier. Anyway, so. Uh, so I just wanted to show you what you can do with a beast. Um, you know, some of the other games have uh, have uh, multi-core. Uh, if we go talk to God, um, this is done with multi-core. The uh, the sprites, the big sprites, those bitmaps are um, actually kind of expensive to draw. I think it, it does them pixel by pixel. Um, so you'll see every once in a while one of my cores will spike to uh, 30, 40. That means it's drawing a big, um, a big. So this is kind of. It's really it really doesn't do this really well. Let's see what God says.
So anyway, 